Most of the side effects on the body come from these solvents, benzobenzoate and benzoalcohol, not really the actual roid. What is up everyone at Truce? I hope everyone is doing well. Today's SMR sip is 1907. Check out 1907 wire.com coupon code Russo. ASMR spritz, intelligent elephant carbon. Here are your noises, but you gotta buy it to smell it. All other discounts in the pinned comment down below. Today's rant about underground labs, underground steroid labs. Would you rather have your steroids made healthy and get bad reviews on your underground lab? Or would you rather have them made with the most solvents, AKA never crystallized ever and get higher reviews online? This is my rant, is that underground labs blanket the recipes. So what do I mean by recipes? You don't really need that much benzo, benzoate, benzo alcohol for most compounds. These compounds have different molecular weights, meaning each compound has its own specific recipe. Honestly, benzo alcohol isn't really needed at all because benzo benzoate converts to benzo alcohol. That being said, crystallization is more likely to occur when you start trying to make a healthier roid. What do I mean by a healthier roid? Most of the side effects on the body come from these solvents, benzo benzoate and benzo alcohol, not really the actual roid and when you're doing bodybuilding super physiological dosages and pumping yourself full of this chemical you're also pumping yourself full of solvents now my argued factor is that why not use the least amount of benzo benzoate possible and preferably no benzo alcohol at all if not very little and have a much healthier roid that you can inject way more of have less overall side effects less overall organ stress but it may crystallize it may crystallize you may have to heat it up on the stove and get the crystals out shake it out before you inject it would you rather have it blanketed with a recipe that ensures that it'll never crystallize ever it'll sit on the shelf forever you'll never see any crystal you never have to heat it up but if you're injecting super physiological amounts you'll pay the price with the organs you'll definitely be injecting more solvents than you need to and over the course of years decades of steroid abuse think of how that compounds into injecting way more solvents than you ever would need and that brings the point of you as the underground steroid lab owner you're taking an extreme risk selling these products. The margins aren't as good, in my opinion, as people think they are. There's a ton of competition, believe it or not, in underground steroid sales. And reviews matter, especially on underground labs. Reviews really matter. You could have some fucker on Reddit nuke your entire company because he has one little crystal he found in his bottle of test probe and then he's going around parading that they don't know how to make their shit. My opposing argument is this is like I'd rather have the recipes individualized for the compounds based on their molecular weight. I'd rather not really see benzo alcohol in there because benzo benzoate converts to benzo alcohol and I'd rather see healthier compounds hit the underground market what would happen you would see a flood of one star two star reviews that these underground labs don't know how to make their product right and i had to heat mine up on the stove and wait an extra four minutes before i injected and these companies would go out of business despite making a healthier product you'll notice with homebrew people aka people who brew their own gear is they're always obsessing over dialing in the recipe to perfection on the least amount of salt they can use the underground scene can't do that that's selling to the masses in bulk because of people who see one crystal and try and put the underground lab out of business this education just needs to get out there right it's these solvents that's causing a lot of these issues you don't really need a lot of solvents but i understand the ugl owner not wanting to you know, imagine making all that gear and one little fuck you know has a crystal he goes around parading a hate mob to bring down your ugl to where you have to bring up a whole new ugl and the whole reason is a stupid crystal found in this test prop like that's fucking goes on all the time and it makes these ugl owners like oh okay well they don't want crystals okay just just blanket it in benzo benzoate benzo alcohol there's double the amount now 
They'll never be a crystal ever. It'll sit on the shelf forever and they'll never see a crystal. Overall, over time, you're injecting way more solvents. This is the argument of battle that I want to see change in the underground gear scene is that we have more education on the recipes being used. We see the molecular weights of each compound being different and we're doing different solvent amounts to suspend the compound without crystallization. We're thinking about removing benzo alcohol, relying on benzo benzoate solely. And if we do use benzo alcohol, it's a tiny amount. We're not using extreme amounts. These solvents are dirt cheap. It doesn't really make a difference in the profit margin if they blanket it or not. And when these companies get destroyed by one guy with test prop who has some fucking crystals in his bottle, you best believe they're going to blanket benzo benzoate and benzo alcohol and all their gear. What are your thoughts down below? I'll see you guys in my next video.